Yeah, welcome to the channel of uh, National Development Financial in Depth. Today we have a short lesson which we are going to concentrate on uh, uh, the plantain multiplication. It's a second lesson. Last time we, in our last video, we showed you how to prepare the uh, the plantain suckers for propagation. Today we are continuing with the process, and today we are going to prepare them to put them in the greenhouse. So you have to cut them. When we prepare them, we left this uh, uh, number of leaves here. So we have to activate. There's the merry stem in the middle here. There's a merry stem which you have to activate. So look very well. We can give it two cuts. If it was a bigger comb, we can even give it four cuts. So in a way, we are like destroying the, the, the merry stem. That's the point that germinates here. When we destroy it or we activate it, many more, many of this uh, bot, side bot will shoot, and then we are going to prepare them. So they will give us more. Yes, after we have uh, activated our uh, uh, combs, at, at this point they are not called combs, they are now called explants. We have to treat them. Remember when we were doing the, the shelling, we were actually excavating, remove uh, weevils and other uh, things that we could see. That was physical treatment. So after that, we are going to go into uh, chemical treatment to actually be sure that we eliminate all the pests, all the nematodes in our plants. So now we have a mixture of insecticide and fungicide. We have this mixture of insecticide and fungicide to treat our explants chemically. We already treat them physically, so now I have to treat them chemically. We mix it. It is not necessary for me to tell you which insecticide or which fungicide I'm using because it may not be easy for you to have that particular one. So just know that you use a, a combination of a mixture of insecticide and fungicide. So after this, you keep them. You keep them for 30 minutes, at least 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, we are going to take them into the greenhouse. Okay, we are now in our greenhouse, which has been constructed for that purpose. This greenhouse has been constructed using local materials. You have bamboos, you have uh, plank and they have plastic that which we have put under and they have a uh, wood shelves of course sawdust the fine wood shelves sawdust so we have lined our explants inside you can see them the way you know that when we are putting our explants inside we have to give some gaps we give some gaps we don't put them so close to each other so that when they will be sprouting you can you will not have uh, some of the plants hitting the others. So now we we'll cover with sawdust. So we use sawdust as a, a rooting medium. Yes, uh, after that we, we use water to moist, moisten the sawdust.
if some of the eggplants are exposed, we have to add sawdust. We make sure that they are all covered with sawdust. At this point, we have to use the white plastic to cover so as to condition the temperature inside for it to be hot. When it's hot and humid, that is when it's going to, the eggplants are going to sprout. We also have some here, some which we'll put the other time. This one that's going to sprout, then we are going to cover with the plastic like this so that it should be hot inside. So I thank you for being with us, uh, watching our video up to this point. If you are new to our channel, please we implore you to subscribe to our channel, like our videos, and share them. For the old subscribers, we thank you for always coming back to watch our videos and give us thumbs up as this encourages us to produce more videos and upload them for you. Thank you. Bye-bye.